Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all well and thank you for joining me today and hello to any newbies who are watching. So today I thought I would do a video on my top 10 pieces that I think that you need for the spring season. Now I've really thought about this in more of a capsule wardrobe kind of theme. I don't have a capsule wardrobe, I would love one but I have far too many clothes and I love buying clothes. But I do live by and love some of the principles, so I don't like to buy anything that I know that I'm not going to wear and really utilise. And I like to put things into my wardrobe which I know I can utilise with a lot of other pieces and mix and match. And I think you can go so much deeper with the capsule wardrobe, but I have not ventured into that. But I do have 10 pieces here which I think would be amazing to make a really easy spring essentials wardrobe. So here we go. So the first item would be a striped t-shirt. Now I'm a striped t-shirt kind of girl. I have so many in the wardrobe, I wear them again and again. And I feel like they're the kind of thing that if I, number one, don't know what to wear, or number two, I'm feeling lazy, tired or ill, I always reach for a striped t-shirt. Now I have two options. Um, I have one from last year which I got from the White Company, this one's short sleeved obviously for a hotter day or if you're wanting to layer more. I find that sometimes, even getting into the warmer spring months, when I'm going into London I really want to layer because it could be hot and cold, you're down on the tube and it's really hot and then it's cold and breezy when you're out on the streets. So this is a great option if you're wanting to layer. They do have this one, this season, I think it's slightly different. It might have a logo on it or something. But I will link everything below. Everything is linkable, so I'll always put it below for you guys. Um, yeah, just a really simple, pretty t-shirt. And then the next one is the kind of classic long sleeve t-shirts. Now, I've picked this one up new for this year from ASOS. It's quite a thick material. It's much thicker than the t-shirts. And this would be perfect if you were only wanting to wear a lightweight jacket or you weren't wanting to wear anything on top, maybe it's a much warmer day. These go ideal with jeans or any kind of trousers. I think that they look amazing with white. I love pairing a navy and white striped top with white jeans. But I will show you guys that later and when I try it on. I will try on all of these pieces and what I'm going to try and do is try them on all from the rail so that you can guys can see outfits that I've put together from all of these pieces. So yeah, striped t-shirt. Then the second piece would be a blouse. Now spring really is the season for blouses. Finally we can get out of the jumpers, we don't have to wear them anymore and it's time to start showing off those more like pretty details which I'm all over. I feel like in the winter you might as well just have a nice coat because apart from that nobody else is really going to see anything. And I do pick up quite a few blouses. You guys might have seen um, the piece that I have on from Topshop in my most recent Topshop haul. I've already worn this one so much and it's not been long. And the new piece that I've picked out is from H&M. And it's this gorgeous, it's a really, I feel like it's cotton, almost feels like linen um, blouse. I love the button detail. I think that it makes it look a lot more expensive feel like this style is quite trendy but also classic. I don't think that it will go out of season for a few years to come. And I think that it's probably one that you have to tuck in, but I'm hoping that it, it's flattering. I mean, I have worn it a few times and I think that it's flattering, but it is one of those pieces I think that's a bit hit and miss with some people. I think it looks gorgeous on. But the other two pieces um, you may have seen, I've just picked out a few to show you guys. I think if you're only going to go for one blouse, I'd probably recommend a white blouse because it will go with all of your pieces. This one is cropped in the body, which is great if you really love your kind of high-rise jeans or skirts. Um, and this would be for a much warmer day. And then I love this kind of boho style one from Zara. All of the detail on it is so pretty, so kind of spring, summer day. And I've already got so much use out of these two. This next item goes along with the blouses. I haven't factored it into a number because technically I don't really feel like it's an item. And it is thermals. So I feel the cold and I know so many of my friends do and they always say like, oh, 
Throwing these pretty vases, aren't you freezing? But I always have something on underneath, always, always. Um, so I've picked out two. This is one that I got from Bowden, which is ideal. Actually, this is really good, not just for a thermal layer. It's good if you have more of a see-through top um, or you just like wearing vests, but I use it as a kind of windbreak under some of my blouses. And this one was from Bowden. It's a perfect nude colour, actually these two nude colours are quite different, but it's a lovely nude colour and it goes really well under pieces which, because um, you can adjust the straps, so it goes really well under pieces which are either like a low neck or um, kind of have a funny back or a funny um, sleeve is what I'm trying to think of because this one here is a long sleeve one and I can't wear this one with as many pieces. Um, this one was from, I can't remember where I got this one from, but I'll link it below. Um, this one is more for jumpers and on a much colder spring day because we still have them, they're still cold, so I would recommend these <laughs> definitely for the spring months still. Next, my third item would be a lightweight jumper. Now I feel like I always wish away the jumpers. I'm ready for summer and dresses, but we still need jumpers, definitely, definitely in the UK and certainly in London. Um, so my first one is a last season one from And Other Stories. Now, I wasn't sure about investing in this one when I bought it. I thought they are quite pricey, but the quality is amazing. It is so soft, the cashmere is gorgeous. I've worn it so much more than I thought I would because it goes with so many items. It's amazing to go with skirts. If you love wearing skirts, but it's still a bit cool, then this jumper is perfect because it's so lightweight and it's quite form-fitting. So it's not chunky at all with the skirt, but you can also wear it with jeans and lots of other things. Um, and also with it being cashmere, it keeps you cool and it keeps you warm at the same time. Um, yeah. Definitely a cashmere item if you're thinking about one. Lots of other stores do reasonable ones. Um, Marks and Spencers I've got some from and John Lewis. Um, and also, some of them are going into the sale at this time of the year, even the lightweight ones, so watch out for those. And then next, I've got, which looks a bit funny on a hanger, slightly thicker, but it's still a light colour. And this is an off-the-shoulder jumper. I picked this one up recently from H&M, it is so soft, if you guys saw my, what's it, my March favourites video, I picked the jumper from H&M, I feel like their jumpers are so good, they probably don't last as long as other jumpers quality wise, but if you're looking for something for one season then H&M do some amazing things. And this one's off the shoulder, so it shows a bit of shoulders, which I love, especially if you've started to get a bit of tan or fake tan, like I do at this time of the year. Um, and it's perfect for showing off like any dainty jewellery. Um, really lovely piece for this spring, and also it's semi-short. It's like a really nice length, it's just a little bit short, so it goes perfectly with trousers. I think you could wear this one with dresses too, but I've never tried it with one. Now, if any of you guys have been following me for a long time, then you will have definitely seen some of my next items because they are by far in my wardrobe, probably in the top five items that I've worn the most. So number four is a jacket, and these two are kind of both styled on a denim jacket. My first one is from French Connection. Now, I was on the Outlook for a denim jacket, I think this was last year, or perhaps even the year before, that I bought this one, and they still have it, so that just shows you how much of a good seller this one is. It was so soft, it's like that really gorgeous, you don't feel like you've got denim on. Um, I sometimes find, especially on my arms, that denim jackets are kind of uncomfortable, um, and I just end up not wearing them, and I am a real comfort wearer, so if I find something that is comfortable, I love it. So, and this piece does exactly that. It is so soft, so lovely. I chuck it over anything, so many things, um, and it keeps you warm, but it's so, so stylish. Then next is this one from Hush, which is slightly similar in that it kind of looks like a denim jacket style, but it's actually jersey, so getting on the soft, comfortable. It's really soft and comfortable. I can fling it over anything on a spring day. If it gets hot, just take it off. Put it around your shoulders, put it around your waist. 
Um, I've, I, as I said earlier, I've worn this and worn this, um, washed it a few times, it probably is looking slightly tatty now. I might invest in the one that they've brought out this season, but I couldn't recommend these enough. Like honestly, these two I wear all of the time. So number five would be a lightweight coat. I found it quite hard to shorten down my coats. I have far too many and I really wanted to shorten them down to more than three, but at the end I've put three on here because I feel like they are four very different things. The first one is a barber coat that I got last season, which is obviously a raincoat. Now, April showers and all, we still get a lot of rain and I'm a practical, I'm a practical fashion thinker. I love to look good, but I also don't want to be uncomfortable and I certainly don't want to be out in the rain without a raincoat. So um, this one I think is quite nice because it is a light color for spring. I love that, it's really lightweight. I can chuck it in a bag if I want to. Um, and I mean, it nips in at the waist, so it's quite flattering, but it is just, it's kind of just a typical raincoat. Really practical and really easy. Then I picked a wool coat. Now this one is from Windsor and I love it because it's actually a cardigan coat. So it's somewhere in between a coat and a jacket. I don't wear a cardigan. So I feel like this really ticks the box for me of somewhere in between. Um, it's warm, but it's not too warm. It looks really relaxed, but stylish. Um, I love the colour of it because it goes with so much. If you follow me on Instagram or if you've been following me for a while, you all know how much I've worn this one. My mum always says, like, when are you going to take that coat off? Um, in fact, she actually got one for herself because I wore it so much. Um, so yeah, this one's ideal and it's soft, comfortable, again, really easy, so love that one. Is this cheating? I'm not sure. I've said 10 items, but now I'm popping in three coats. But my last coat would be a MAC. Now I found it quite hard to find an updated MAC this season. As you'll see, this one's new. I got it from ASOS. I find MACs quite hard. I find the colour quite difficult to find. I mean, once you find the right one, they're amazing. I wear them all the time. I've got some darker wool coloured ones for the winter. And I think for spring, it's so nice to have something bright. So I've picked this one from ASOS as I said and I love the light buttons, the light colour, it almost looks like a bit of a pinky shade and I'm hoping that it fits really nicely around the waist because that's where I find that coats, MAC coats can be quite difficult is that you kind of need to tie in the belt but they, if they're a bit tight and a bit restrictive they don't flow nicely but this one honestly drapes beautifully so I'm hoping this is the keeper for me. Number six is some light trousers. Now I feel light trousers in the spring, it's like the first time that you can get to wear those white trousers or light trousers again. And so I have picked out two pairs. This first pair I am so in love with. I think this is one of my favorite purchases from spring. It's these white jeans, but they have a gorgeous bottom. Now I saw some of these last year, um, I can't remember the make, but they were really exclusive, super expensive, and I just didn't know whether I wanted to pay the price, and then when I saw these in H&M, I nearly died, I was just like, yes, these are so pretty, I think that these will go with everything, but they kind of elevate the outfit and just give it a little bit of texture, which is gorgeous, um, they fit amazing on, they're really flattering for white jeans, I'm not the slimmest person ever, and white jeans aren't flattering on me all of the time, so finding a pair which are, it's like gold dust, and these really do, I think, anyway. Um, so if you're looking out for a pair of white jeans and you love like something pretty as well, these are amazing. My other pair of trousers are definitely more on the trend-led side, and they are new in, and I've still got the tag on because I'm actually gonna have to exchange them for a smaller size. But I really love the style of them. They are wide leg all the way down. Slightly different for me. They definitely are going with the trend. I don't know if they'll be in next year. But I just absolutely adored the colour because some days I don't want to wear black trousers or even blue jeans. But white jeans just seem so bright. Like if you can tell against those, sometimes they just seem too white and too sparse. Um, and next to some colourways they seem too, too kind of like sterile almost. Um, so these are a really gorgeous colour and I've been looking for some jeans in this colour for a while. Um, but yeah, they're just, for me, on the waist, they're not quite tight enough, but you'll see that when I show you guys with it on. Um, 
yeah, really gorgeous pair and I think that you'll be able to wear these right into the summer months as well and get so much wear out of them. For number seven, I've gone for a straw bag, but actually not your typical kind of straw bag. Now I'm sorry if this one looks a bit tatty, but I really, really wanted to include pieces that were very well loved by me and um, that hopefully you guys could have and really love because I feel like in my haul videos I show you guys what's new in but sometimes you just want those pieces that you wear and wear and this is one of them. I actually got this one from Gap probably about five years ago. Now this bag has been <laughs> through so much with me. It's been, um, I use it as a beach bag for multiple holidays because it's amazing to travel with. It flats really pat, like, it packs really flat in a suitcase. Um, and uh, for groceries, I've chucked it in. It's been a university bag. I've put my folders in it. Um, I put just sun cream in it if we're going out on a normal day, say up to the park or something with my purse. Um, I'll wear it all of the time. And honestly, I still wear it now and I still get asked where it's from. So I'm gonna try and link some similar ones below because I actually really regret I saw one last year in a J Crew and it was nearly exactly the same and I didn't pick it up and I really regret it now because this one is definitely on its way out. But it's really nice because I've got a lot of other straw bags which I feel like are summer bags but this kind of like bridges the gap between that summer. I don't think that I'll be wearing the like really big straw bags or quite structured ones yet. Like this, this is still okay if it's raining. Um, so that's why I love it for the spring months. Okay, so I've lost count totally of where I am. So um, anyway, I'm not sure what number this is, but I'm on to accessory pieces now. And next up, I've got a pair of sunglasses. Now, I love good quality sunglasses. I feel like your eyes are so important. My eyes hurt if I'm staring into the sun, not obviously staring into the sun, but if I've got cheap glasses and I'm staring into the sun, they start to hurt and I can really tell between the quality. Some some pieces and some like, like t-shirts and stuff, for example, I don't, see the quality but with sunglasses I really do I feel like they're a good investment and I love Ray-Bans I have so many Ray-Bans I think I got my first pair when I was about 16 17 and I still have them they're aviators I still wear them now um but I got these last year and to be honest I thought that they were too cool for me but um I love them so hopefully that they're not too cool for me I wear them so much more than I thought they would thought that they would be a really kind of fashion piece that I'd struggle to wear, but I don't. They are those perfect basics which really elevate an outfit, make it look cool. I mean, I think that these make me look cooler than I am anyway, um, but a lovely pair. There are so many great pairs of sunglasses out there, but I would really recommend Ray-Ban for quality. I'm kind of cheating again here, and I have picked three pairs in one category, so I've picked flat shoes and so for me this is kind of brogues and kind of loafer kind of style and pumps so the first pair is actually a pair which I've had for a few years and again they've bought these out um, mine are looking slightly tatty they are the Carvella Kirk Geiger pumps in just this camel neutral colour um, I've got so many compliments on these I think I wore them in one of my last videos and you guys kept asking me where they were from and um, they are unbelievably comfortable and for pumps, I think that they've really stood the test of time because I've worn these in the rain, in the mud, um, and they're still looking okay. I still wear them now anyway. Um, so a little pair of pumps. And as you can see, I haven't color, I didn't purposely color coordinate this or anything, but this is just the staples that I have and they honestly go with so much stuff. Sorry, but they're a bit dirty and tatty, but I wear them a lot. <laughs> now, I just wanted to pop in these because this is another pair that I get so many questions on, especially on my Instagram. And they are kind of dupes for the Gucci loafers. These are from a brand called H London. I actually got them from ASOS. I think it was last year, uh, maybe last summer, or maybe even the year before. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're still on there. Got to admit, these are much more sturdy and not as comfortable as some of my other shoes, but because of that, they have kind of kept their style better. Like, as you can see, they look like they've barely been worn, but I have worn them quite a lot. So if you like the Gucci loafer style, I don't think I'd ever fork out on the actual pair, but again, these go with so much stuff. 
And then my last ones are these from Bowdoin and I've just picked these up new. Um, however, they were in the sale so I'm not sure if these will still be in stock but I know that they do this style year after year. So um, I'll definitely pop a link to something similar below if they don't have them. Um, these are just super practical. They're a little bit more out there than my other ones, but as you can see, they still go with so much of the stuff. Um, really comfortable, really pretty, really practical. And then lastly, for my 10th item, I've gone for a pair of trainers. Now last year I had a pair of Super Grizz which were white and leather and I wore and wore them so much. So this year I decided to get a pink platform pair which are in this espadrille kind of style. I absolutely adore them. Um, I just think that they are so gorgeous. They're a really nice feminine girly take on the trainer and they really suit my style and kind of wardrobe. So yeah, love these ones. Okay, so that was it. That was my 10 items that I think you need this spring. What do you guys think? Are you guys going to be adding any of them to your wardrobe or do you already have them all in your wardrobe? Let me know and also let me know if there are any that you think I missed or you think that I need to be adding to mine to really make this work. I love the idea of the mix and match and having it all sit together. So yeah, I hope you guys love this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and hit that subscribe button if you are new and I will see you all next week. Bye.